Friday night for a change and we're out in the northern fellas again. Got the little Andy with us, he's back out again. Uh, we're going to do this little, little one up here called Binzy. Uh, the forecast is totally wrong. The forecast was for torrential rain and cloud and wind. It's a little bit windy, not too bad. We're just going to bivy tonight, maybe. <laughs> we haven't decided quite yet. Choice, We're going to have bivvies or tops and bivvies. <laughs> We're not too sure. Oh, I'm the top's <laughs> gone up anyway, just as an emergency shelter for later. We need it. But uh, I'm going to get this little mini fell cracked off because it's one of the northern fells. And as you know, we're planting a camp on every summer to the northern fells. That's why we're here. But halfway up, so when we get to the top, I'll show you some of the views. Right, we're here. It's all Binzy. Sorry about the wind, but it's just it's just the edge of the beast. Lovely views, eh? Extensive views from this small fell. I'm gonna find a patch to get set up, preferably somewhere with shelter. It's a bit powerful that light, Annie. Oh, well, it's your light. Aye. Right here we are, we're, um, the bivvy. Is it the bivvy? No, it's not a bivvy, it's the top. Uh, we've been on the summit, made our teas, and it was dehydrated, rubbish, absolute rubbish. Awful. Awful, horrible. Mine was, um, I can't remember what it was. Chilli. Oh, it was chilli, but what, what mate was it? Um, orange, orange, orange packet. Expedition. Expedition foods? Yeah. It wasn't the best, like. It was, it was all right, it wasn't bad. Andy had chilli as well, but his was a fire pot. I think he was very happy with his fire no, pot. Yeah, no, the water. I think my water. His water's tainted. He's got tainted water. The bladder. Aye. Uh, um, Could make a song out of that. Tainted yeah, water. Tainted water, aye. Sometimes I feel I've got to uh, do, get the do. taste away. Somewhere, anyway. But anyway, we're in this top. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you about. It's got like a, it's got a stick that keeps it up. It's got a little entrance there, an exit. No, no, for two people to sit in. Two people could sleep in it, but I've got a bivvy out there. I'm in a bivvy tonight. I'm a bit worried, but concerned about it. Can't wait to see you getting that. Like. Aye, it's going to be filmed later on. And he's, <laughs> and he's going to film that definitely. It's going to be comedy gold. Find a good um. bit of music. <laughs> 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 so we've had a couple of cans on the top, and we're really we're enjoying ourselves now. Like we're glad we made the effort. I mean, I was a bit. Unsure it would come tonight, to be honest, because the weather forecast was terrible, but it's not bad. Are you glad I good. forced you to come? Yeah, aye, aye, aye. Aye. And now let's look. Um, I'm inside my bivvy. Uh, my board, one person bivvy. Uh, <laughs> I think there's a bit of condensation in here, like, and I'm not cold, but it's early days yet, or early night, so to say. Had a good night, uh, as you can probably see by the video, when you see Annie's video. <laughs> but I'm in here, and I'm tucked up. Uh, let's just see how it goes. We'll find out in the morning how it's went. How it's gone. Oh, my God. 
Morning campers, hey hi. Nothing, no, not a thing, not a sausage. Oh, there's the weather anyway. Yeah. I'm seeing there's the weather. It's not raining, but it's, it's cloudy and it's overcast and damp, misery. Just seen a blow across there, I don't know who he is, but we think it's the farmer. Anyway, I'll show you my setup. You've got the Vord 1P bivvy, which is a side zip one. You know what the 1P stands for? Alright, you just get up in the night for 1P. It's uh, waterproof and breathable. It's only worth 1P. And it, it hasn't been too bad. It was a bit, obviously, it was a bit damp at this side where I've been breathing, but that's to be expected in even in a tent, to be honest. But it's got it's, got, it's a hoop one. As I say, the side open zip. And all I used last night was my Z rest, uh, Thermarest Z rest um, mat. Because I wasn't sure whether the, 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 the big insulator mat would be too thick for it, too high, so if you know what I mean. Um, and I'm just using a, my cheap Life Venture um, sleeping bag, which is damp now because obviously when I opened the door, all the rain came in, right? But, and I've got my, my pillow up there. But all in all, it was a good night. Really enjoyed it. Slept well. So, there's Andy's air. Uh, there's on top. Aye, uh, that's his DD top. Well, he copied off. He, he set it up like mine. Oh. He copied off me. That's mine there. Mine's a brown one. Better one. Better colour. So we're gonna get the coffee on now, and then head to Keswick and do Keswick things. <laughs> Keswick on. Keswick, Keswick on. Keswick on. Um, looking around George Fisher's again. Touching sleeping bags and that. Aye, uh, touching sleeping bags. There's me last night's bumpy pitch. That's how my top wasn't hanging properly, like it was uh, too lumpy, very lumpy. There's like rocks, rocks in the, the grass. <laughs> if you kneel on them, you, you know about it. Uh, that's where my bivvy was. I enjoyed it last night, that bivvy, like, really did. And there's Andy just putting his rubbish away. So I always take our rubbish away. And uh, where it was clearing up before across the soil, we starting to mist up again. So I don't know what kind of weather we're going to have today. We're kind of Kind of complaining about yesterday's weather because the forecast was dire, and I, I wanted to I wanted to pack it in, not come. But Andy made us like he said, I had to. Seeing that it was my idea, so I felt a bit obliged, you know. That's the summit up there, the summit of Binzi. Ah, quite a nice little fell. Like, it's very quiet. We saw two people last night. We saw a bloke running last night with his dog. I think he was the local farmer, and we saw a bloke walking across that that horizon across there this morning. Just on his own, I think maybe he was some kind of farmer as well. 